What is up, wrestling fans? Welcome to part two of our four-part tier list rankings podcast for Smart Cow Moment Smack Talk. Of course, I am your host as always, Tony Mango, joined as always by Robert E. Felice. Hey, hey. And Callum Wiggins. We're still here. We are still here. We are on the AEW men's roster tier list now after having done the AEW women's roster. We are separating these as this is AEW week. Next week, we're going to be doing the WWE section. So go back and check out the AEW women's roster to see where we ranked all of those on our normal ranking system, which is exactly the same as what it was last year. Break that down in a moment. But before we do, we always want to remind everybody that we want to know what you have to say throughout the podcast. So whether you are reacting to what we say or you are giving your own tier list, drop them in the comment section below. If you're on YouTube and you're doing that, Click on all those different good, good uh, blah, 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 words, all those different good buttons that you can see on there, like the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell and the join button and the thanks button. Now, the join button is the same as the Patreon. If you want to be on the dark cast tier or do something for the pick your poison tier, we get to request something specific that you want us to do. Those are the ways to do that. Redbubble and T-Bubble is where you can pick up your merchandise. And if you are just interested in leaving your comments and all that, then you could also hop on over to the Discord server. You can post off on Facebook, Twitter, or the page on SmartCatMoment.com that associates with this. Technically, you can leave a comment anywhere on Moment, but if you go to the Royal Rumble 2021 list and the uh, you leave a comment that says, I would rank lee moriarty in the whatever tier i'm gonna be pretty confused but people do that once in a while and every so often i'll get somebody on like the heel and face list that'll just be like whatever happened to the great american bash or something and it's like huh america turned heel a while ago yeah so uh as we roll along here, I am going to be showing you the screen share of what we've got going on with our AEW men's roster. This also includes Ring of Honor. So there are names that are not as familiar with the Dynamite, Rampage, and Collision side of this company. But look, effectively, ROH is NXT. So if we lump NXT in with WWE, we should lump ROH in with AEW. And there's such a big crossover between them that... A lot of those names are just mostly like Mark Briscoe is the ROH world champion. He pops up on AEW constantly. So why not just rank all them while we can? And our ranking list is the same as last year and the same as what we did for the women's roster on the AEW side of things. S tier is the GOATS. A tier is main event. Then we got above average with the B tier, middle of the road with C. D tier is below par. A jobber status on the E tier, drizzling shits on the F tier, the fuck tier, as uh, my wife says it is. And the no opinion column is for people that we just either have not seen enough of, or we haven't seen enough of in the past year, or we know nothing about at all. Um, you know, that is the case for some people. And there are 148, I believe, names on this list. Yes. We might end up taking some people out. I don't think I'm missing anybody. I think, if anything, I have more people that will delete then we'll add anybody but across the board good thing to do is to set some of these tiers and to say this person goes there that goes there then we can kind of judge based off of that so i would say just for shits and giggles because it is shits what is your first gun to your head you think of if it's like all right f tier who in the awroh family is just the worst <laughs> Um. Well, if we're going based on wrestling, I don't know why you got Justin Roberts on there. It's like, it's oh, I didn't like, really like, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right. This uh, the list that I had done had all the like personnel, mm -hmm. like all that too. All so right. they, it yeah. also had like Prince Nana was on here and all that. So uh, yeah. I might have lo uh, unintentionally left one or two in there by accident. <laughs> well, in, in terms of that, I might that go. Yeah, we're not with... getting a high ranking. <laughs> I might go with. Hmm. The entire collective of the Iron Savages. Callum has never been to Titty City, confirmed. <laughs> so, Boulder Bronson and Jack Jameson are... I know this might, I know this might hurt for you, Tony, because I believe you... Oh, you've worked with one you're of them. You've worked, I worked with Tommy, but um, I, I wouldn't go F tier for, uh, for them based off of the... What was the, what was the last paper? All Out. I was, gonna, I was gonna say revolution for some reason. Jeez, 
um, not even remotely close. If I would have said all in, it would have been at least like, oh, all right, it just happened and it's close to the name. Um, I, just, I just don't think that their gimmick is in like, there's to- I'm totally fine with people having like, you know, comedy gimmicks. But I just don't think their gimmick is like funny at all. And like, they're supposed I, to be. I'd go more E well. tier than F. The but then again, we might adjust these two. So is the E for eating ass? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I don't. Well, I, well, okay. Then let's go with this. That who do you think is worse than the Iron Savages? This list is big, so I'm trying to like this, scroll this through. It's gonna sound mean, and I don't do mean too much. But uh, as an overall higher, just across the board, Air Fox. <laughs> I mean, I'm he's not going to make be- much of an he's argument better, for no, him he's being a better high. Wrestler. He is a better wrestler than the Iron Savages by a mile, yes. But, like... I wouldn't go the, F for him, but I, I, I'm not going to be like, that's a B tier if I ever seen one. You know what I mean? Well, no, <laughs> oh, no, he's definitely not high. I'd say like, like he could fit into either E or D, but I'm saying, like, he's okay, not so worse Serpent- than the Iron so Savages. Does Serpentico slash John Cruz, then? No, I think Serpentico's higher ranking than those ones as well. He's he's actually got a story long ring of honor compared to these guys. So So this might be mean. But I think F tier maybe oh, I, I would I go one. Maybe I would go Zack Knight. That wasn't the one I spotted. No no, I I spotted one as well, but like I I, I mean I could make an argument for Zack Knight being potentially Zack Knight being at least a, an E. He's definitely no higher than me. But, but so I'm, I'm moving these yeah. names around of what the ones we were just deciding about. Were the other two names that you guys had spotted? Uh, Satnam Singh? Uh, I think he's higher up than that. Because I think he's he has some you know character about him. But the one that I always end up going to, and so I'm surprised that I've waited this long, uh, Aaron Solo. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. I'm, I'm okay with yeah, yeah, putting yeah, Aaron go, Solo yeah. in there. Oh, that poor guy. Aaron Solo's done fuck <laughs> all for years, and he's even doing Ew, less wow. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, like he's even just jobbing on Ring of Honor now, so that's kind of his his lot in life now. Okay, genuine question then: Where does, based off of what Tony said about doing fuck all for years, where does that put someone like a Preston Vance? Well, he's just not there right now. Like he, the only the last thing he did was get the shit kicked out of him by Roosh. So um, I haven't seen anything that Preston Vance has done long he's enough. That watch Collision. Yeah, yeah colli- record, Collision is a blind spot for me. Rampage is an even bigger blind spot, and Ring of Honor is an even bigger <laughs> blind spot than that. So it's I base my stuff based off of predominantly the pay per views and Dynamite more than anything. So yeah. something that Preston Vance is doing, good or bad. Or when we start talking about names like Turbo Floyd or like Devon Eriks and you know, all those, like then those are ones that I typically have no real opinion about. But I think I think we need to be serious and put the outrunners in S tier. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, I mean the outrunners just just so you know, Tony, because like you might not watch them on like Collision and stuff like that. Obviously, they're a job act. Yeah, but they totally were good. they were but they are in the top ten they were in the top ten merch movers for AEW last month and they really? did get their first win I yeah. think they're they're at least uh, a low D I think they're a D yeah so are they low D or a D low <laughs> no, they're low D in the flock where's uh so two votes for D tier for yeah, uh, yeah for Truth Nag and so uh, Truth uh, Magnum yeah where's the oh, right, 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 right above them jeez yeah. yeah. <laughs> Truth um, and Ted Floyd. But so yeah, that, that I think if we establish that they're D tier, then I think for sure I would put uh the Iron Savages in E rather than F. That's fine. Yeah. Um and, I, I think I think Zach Knight could go in F probably. Cause I mean the the guy only got the job from Soraya and even then, what's he done? Mm. And uh, I don't know, if they got rid of him in it, you know. In a moment, I don't think anybody would notice. All right, Air care. Fox and E. All right, he does not the drizzling shits. He's a good wrestler, but the, the higher was rough. So E tier for Serpentico and Saddam Singh too. I wouldn't put Saddam any higher. I put I put Serpentico. Actually, yes, probably E tier. Yeah, still. E tier. And in which case, in which case, you can put um and Helico in E tier as well. Yep. All right, there's two and on this list. 
Because okay. one of them had, had the uh, accent, the other one didn't, yeah. so they didn't register the same. But for some reason, they registered separately as uh, when I sorted it by the uh, alphabetical. They put Angela Parker in between the two. <laughs> That's strange. Um, so um, let's, let's try to establish a couple on the higher end. Let's yeah. get let's get an S in there. Yeah, Adam Page, the protagonist. I don't know if I'd go S or A, to be honest. He's definitely not lower than an A by any means at all. And if he's, he's an if he's an left, A, he's an A plus. But I don't know if I'd the, go S. He's the only one left of like the original elite crew that I think still needs to be an S. I, I mean, I would put him as an S. He may have had the last okay. point of view, and he's part of the biggest angle right now. In the same breath, though, I would say yeah, so if Stickton's F, S now. And we might as well just go ahead and where's uh, Daniels? Brian Danielson Brian Danielson in the mess. So that's, that's I put Brian be. Danielson. Well, let's let's. I mean, we don't want to round Moxley. The yeah, but it's it's Moxley, it's MJF, it's Will Ospreay, probably. Hold on, I'm gonna fight you on MJF. That's I'm gonna name. say second vote for S on MJF still. Uh, okay, well, fine. Yeah, <laughs> he's still MJF, even if things haven't been all that um, most amazing. I'm going to make an argument here that I don't know if everybody's going to agree with um, or not, but I think that there's a group of people that are so close to an A plus that you could make an argument. They should potentially be an S, but I think that we have to stick them in a plus. I think orange Cassidy is one. I think that Darby Allen is one. And there was another one that just was on my mind and I completely forget about them. Now it's just blank blanking on them. Um, Oh, who was it? Who was it? It was it? Are you saying? No, I was just doing the Futurama blank bit. Oh, blank. Um, um, crap. There was another person that was just on my in my mind. Um, but there's so many people on here that I'm now blanking on who that other person was. Uh, oh, Okada. Okada is an interesting one that I thought I thought we might save for a bit of a discussion. Because like Kazuchika Okada alone in the name is S tier, but at the same time. This presentation is A tier, but since I just did default to S for Mercedes, I think I have to default for the same logic for Okada. Well, B for bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> These I, I, are I, the three names that I'm like, there's an argument for an S in my mind, but I yeah. think I'd probably go A plus. So so the one that I would the one that I lean more towards the S tier out of this group is Darby Allen. Just because I think that he represents like the DNA of AEW more than any of them, as as much as I love Orange Cassidy as well, and obviously Okada is one of the greatest of all time, but he's not presented at that level in AEW just yet for some reason. Again, he's just not presented to wrestle as often. He's still obviously undefeated, and they've put one of their bigger championships on him. But but yeah, I think. I think at the moment we could put them all in A, but then once we see how many more people we I end up doing in A, we can then see if we want to start leveling one or two of these up. I'll flat out that. potentially break that right now and just say these three in A, uh, in S, and Daniel Garcia in A. No. B. B? Hmm. Uh, it's, it's an interesting one with Danny. Cause he's he did like, too little for too long. He's getting there now, but he was struggling for a minute. But it's, but it's also an idea about where we think they could be positioned or where we would position them, where we think that they've got them right at the moment. And, and he's he's trajectory, to, well, the trajectory for him is pushing towards an A. I I can agree with that. But it's whether... If you're asking I, I, me... I, I, think, I think there's other people we can put in B that are between at, at a slightly lower level than Daniel Garcia. But yeah, right. if, in which case we could put all of those in S and maybe just draw a line at the S at that point because I don't think there's anyone else no, there's put in one, S at this point. No, I would put those in A. I think there's one more S and it's Christian Cage. So I was going to say, Chris Jericho, Christian Cage, they're two other major big well, names. Claudio's yeah, and, and another then, big name as well. I'd say Samoa Joe also comes into that. Yeah, Samoa Joe, Joe well. some other big name. Um, as far as like, big, big names, Adam Copeland's that, a big a name. Adam Copeland. Um, Adam Cole was a big name, but god Adam damn, Cole, man. Uh, Do we want to play Adam well, Cole? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, this motherfucker. I wouldn't worry about that. Like, uh, 
Yeah, at least the right now, I think it'd be point. fucking ridiculous. But and that can be I mean, something that sets a tone for that a little bit, and we could put. Well, um, you also have to consider again, as much as I don't think this title range is very good, the, the bucks are still high up there. Oh yeah, we. That's right. Yeah, um, Matt Jackson, Jackson and and, and FTR Jackson. as well. I think FTR is an A. I would cash wheeler down here. I'd, th- I'd say they're an eight right now, but yeah. It's I'd one of those weird yeah. things because it's like on their own, they're not, but as a tag team, then they are. Well, yeah, so, as a you tag know, team, they are. Yeah. And if I this think... would be like, you know, if Dax Harwood would have just disappear and it's only Cash Wheeler, then I don't think we'd be coming around to like, hey, T or Cash Wheeler. But like tag team wise, you're not going to get a better tag team than FTR for the most part. So, right. Um, a tier tag the, team on that I put front. The Young Bucks in A as well, just because their presentation for me is just not doing it. But I know that there's an argument for S. I think I'd be more comfortable in A tier for the Young Bucks right now. Just to um, kind of separate that whole idea of like, yeah, so it think- still is two tag team guys as opposed to if Matt Jackson were to just be on his own or Nick Jackson were to be on his own, I wouldn't S tier them. So I think Adam Copeland is an A. I'd go he A. Had a not yeah, he had his yeah, best comeback run. Like, literally, of the four years that he's been back, this run has been the best. I'd go Claudio's an A. I'd say so. Samoa Joe is an A. Joe is so, like, right this moment, he's not right. doing anything. But god damn, man, earlier, like, that pre, like, you know, switching the title over to the swerve and all, like... He was getting back to S. He was he was in that we, S range, but we were seeing th- glimpses of like Joe being the man. I think I'd have to go like A plus right now. I think I think there's two S's that we haven't solidified yet. One of them's Christian Cage, and the other one is Sting. He's fucking Sting. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's Sting's not there anyway. Sting, I think, uh, like. But, he, but he's fucking Sting. Like, I don't know if we even rank him because he's done. I mean, you're the one that put like him he, on the he, Well, he's, he's yeah. a goat still, then. Which yeah, like, yeah. I mean, he's an honorary goat. So let's throw yeah. him in there. Um, I mean, like, again, much like... Because you can't obviously be like, you know, well, he's not... He, who's he beaten in the last month? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? He's fucking retired. And he's... Much like Copeland, though, he came back from a career-ending injury to have a great run... And end on his terms. I think that's the yeah. goat run or seen one. Um, so I guess like, well, we still have these people that were lingering around, um, but they're pretty much in this A S type right. of range. I don't yeah, think they're not going to go any higher. Blow, they're not going to yeah. go well, except Rob wants to put Daniel Garcia in B, but I'm going to be over that. So I, I'd go A. I, um, All right, so Garcia and A. I think Cassie's definitely an A. I'd make the argument for an S for, for these three still. And I I would potentially make an argument for... I wouldn't make an argument for Jericho and I'd S. I'd make an argument Jericho for Jericho and B. Yeah. Like this Jericho. Uh, it's, 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 it's still Jericho, though. Yeah. I'd still it's like we were staying, staying in S. Like okay. Jericho uh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. But these uh, four... But, I mean, Cassidy, Allen, Okada, and Cage, like... I could see an argument for an S. For any of them. This. If if anybody tries to put Cassidy in S, then I think Darby has to go in S. Oh, they're all like on par with each other, yeah. I mean, that's why I'm saying like I could see I could make an argument for all four of these being in S. I would probably if I had to rank somebody lower on this list, it'd probably be Okada right now. But, but then I, again, when I look yeah. at like the group that's in the A tier, I lean more towards S for these guys. I, I think I could. I think I could buy into that, and then we kind of draw a line yeah, under the S tier, probably at this yeah, point. Yeah, at that point, there's definitely nobody else that goes into the S, unless we're like somehow forgetting somebody, like you know, Luther. No, but that. <laughs> oh, hang on, I've got an F now. Luther. Oh, oh uh, well, Luther could go in there if you wanted to, but to be fair, he's Butler, so. I mean, he's but, got um, the Luther. Dan ha- shit. Dan Housen. Yes. <laughs> Along the same okay, lines of what I was saying about Air Fox, this dude, great hire, great merch mover, still moving a lot of merch for them. What the fuck? <laughs> Where is he? Like, 
I had to, I don't know when it's going to be published, but uh, keep an eye on everybody for a what culture list of, um, I would say 13 or, or so people on the list of uh, people who have been inspired by the Joker and Harley Quinn. So I needed to write up, you know, a, an entry about like Crazy Steve and I needed to write up an entry about Dan Housen. And the very coolest I'll thing that Dan Housen's ever done is be a variant cover of the Joker. Um, and that's it. <laughs> I'll you to laugh at my boners. <laughs> I uh I've look I appreciate he's got his own gimmick and it works for him and people love it and all. It does not work for me. Um he's probably a really fucking nice dude. I probably he's would get along nice. with him. Very oh, evil very too. Evil. Um <laughs> but he he as a performer, if Dan Housen were to be fired from let's put it this way, and it, this this sounds really mean in theory. When I look at like the D, E, and F tiers, this is like how upset would I be if they got fired? I'm not wishing anybody to be fired for anybody that's like, you know, oh, you want them. To-. No, I'm not saying that. But if Aaron Solo, for instance, the first person we threw in the F tier, if Aaron Solo were to be not renewed for his contract in AEW, nothing of my fandom would change. He's not somebody where it would be like, oh, man, that really sucks that like, John Moxley's not in AEW anymore or didn't hop over to WWE. We just don't see Moxley anymore. I'd be like, man, we're missing something. You know what I mean? So like a Dan Housen, it wouldn't upset me if he were to be gone. And that's kind of how I approach some of these other ones. So that's why when we get into some of the other ones where it'll be more like C tier range and we're going to like adjust the, uh, the curve, that might end up being like, ah, I'm leaning more towards D because I wouldn't be as upset if like a, an evil Uno were to be released or something. Ah, eh, fuck it. Well, I, why do just talk about it? Where's evil Uno going to stand for you guys? Because to me, he's, whole, at, at most, he's D. Like, the whole Dark Order is the epitome of, you know, unfortunately, the job or two for the company. Um, I think the highest I would go is D. Yeah, I'd, I'd, say, that, I, I'd say that the popular job is, so I guess they would be D instead, in terms of like their ones that they might have them be the lower level guys every mm. now and again. If we're great. putting uh, Magnum and Floyd in D, I think we need to put Dark Order in D. Mm. Um, but then again, we and might Archer's end up moving D. these over into E and then, you know, adjusting that for all we know. Lance Archer is a D, I think. Archer, I'd go C. I still just like him throwing people around and he did just have yeah, a too. qualifier. Yeah, me more, he'd maybe be in C. I, I, I think we'll put him in C for now. I think that we can see if we need to move him down. We can C if we can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so we, we Tony gave a pretty strong uh, thing against Dan Housen there. I'm not going to be as long-winded here. I'm just going to say, can we shit or get off the pot with Miro? I mean, <laughs> shit, it seems more likely than... Uh... Well, I'd, I'd say you'd he, he put him in that opinion because he hasn't seen him for a long time. We know Miro has the ability to be Miro has the ability to be good, And yeah. he just... He's not even a part of this fucking company. Like, no, not really, no. I, I've so, seen Miro be a, a legitimate place on every tier here. You know, he can do it all. It's just he's not doing anything. Yeah, it's such a shame that like he had such potential to be like you didn't work out in WWE the way that you could, so we're gonna give you that spot now. And in AEW, he arguably has been worse than even like the you know the Rusev Day stuff. Like I. If I were him, I'd pick Rusev Day over anything in AEW that he's had going on, except maybe the uh, the Redeemer TNT title reign. That was but, that was some S tier level shit, though. It's it's so weird. Um, I'm moving some people around Cabana? just because we're gonna kind of combine certain people. Like uh, the guns are gonna be on the same tier and stuff. You know, where did um, Cole Cabana? Uh, Cole Cabana's been gone for how long? Um, uh, well, for a fairly long time. I think he just kind of does like producing backstage. and dark, yeah, and, and uh, dark matches and stuff like that now. Maybe the no opinion tier. Yeah, I'd say so. Cause, like he's he's not really doing anything now. He's he's pretty much like not a wrestler. I'd put that in the same sort of category as uh, Christopher Daniels because he doesn't wrestle anymore. Yeah, maybe we just put all those people in there. Like Sanjay Dutt doesn't wrestle. Mm. He has a pencil. Um. 
Who's uh, better with their pencils, Sanjay Dutt or Pat McAfee? I have a point this question. <laughs> oh, I'll erase it. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's a sharp member of this roster we could put in at least a B tier? Um, well, you know. Can we, put, can, we put, can, we, can we put someone in the 2B category? Get it? Because it's 2B mm. pencil. Yeah. <laughs> That went out for like a lead balloon. <laughs> you know, and I, I actually do like Mortos a lot, so you might be a B. He's Mortos? I, I, yeah, I'm down for B. Yeah, yeah I think he's uh, he's like fun. the base of every great like lucha match they do. Like yeah. he's like just base the guy, Mortos. You know, I I think uh, it's early days, but I want to put hologram in B as well. Yeah. I think I think hologram that they've got something with hologram. So they I have really not do. seen enough hologram, but two votes for B and I've heard really good things. I'm totally down for that. Oh shit. So, a big name that we haven't ranked yet. Jack Perry. A tier. I, yeah. A, if we put the others in a, he's a, yeah. Just realized that we didn't put him in there. Oh, it's a catch. There's no in I as well. If you want to, Oh uh, yeah. Tekesha, Tekesha, yeah, Where, yeah. Uh, Tekesha. Tekesha, there you go. It's is doing some great shit. Um, um all right. Let's talk about Oh, Eddie Kingston A? Or are we going yeah. B? Yeah. I, I got I, I got Ape Kingston. Alright, if he's going it's A. Eddie Kingston. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett's a C. He's no lower than a C. Yeah. He's he's good. Yeah. He's, I would he's even say he's a B. Yeah. <laughs> like Jeff Jarrett is so good. I wouldn't go I wouldn't go quite uh B for Jeff Jarrett. But oh He'd be somebody oh, that I would potentially bump up if we end up having a like way too many C's, I would yeah. potentially bump up Jarrett. But for now well, I think Put him in C. Wait, in which case, putting some other people in C, I'd say another veteran put just Dustin Rhodes in C as well. Dustin Rhodes makes sense. And as much as Tony hates it, and I'm hoping Rob backs me up on this one, I'm putting Sammy Guevara in C. Yeah. You know, B would what? be the highest I could put him right now. Well, so, what I was going to say, where would you put him, Tony? Like, he had so much fucking potential, but. He should be an A right now. He He's should not. be. He should be in the range that we should be talking about. Is he on Darby Allen level or is he on Jack Perry level? And he just isn't. See, I think he should be resting in NXT right now. But that's. I think it. he should too. I, I think, also agree with that. <laughs> I think he'd be way better off if he was in NXT. Speaking For that of, matter, we would all be sucks. better off if he was in NXT. We'd, <laughs> yeah. we'd, we'd be all better off if he was in NXT right now. And yeah, we could put Ricky Starks in. I mean, Ricky, I know, is we know how good Ricky can be. Ricky, Ricky's, Ricky's going to do good in NXT. <laughs> Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. As I say, I can say you right up, now. Like, we said C or B. I'd like to see him on TV. Um, let's try to get another like low end. Um, Butcher and the Blade. Where are they going? E. E. Oh, yeah, I'd yeah. say A at this point. And the Blade barely even shows up anymore, so he's injured. Um, I, um. Oh, okay. What do we put Michael no Nakazawa? Do we just put him in no the, the F or no opinion or whatever? Yeah, like, no. what's he doing? In, no opinion. No, he doesn't no no wrestle opinion. anymore. He's the same sort of thing as Cole Cabana and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Keith Lee, no opinion. At this point, yeah. Yeah, fuck, man. Keith Lee, what a... Like... What a sad story. Well, just, it's, guys... just, it, yeah, it's, just all, it's just his health has just yeah. declined to a point. Like, I don't think really... Again, I'm not saying his booking has been great in AEW, but like, I don't think really anybody's, bl- anybody's to blame, and he's not to blame, certainly, either, but just I, it, I, shit I, happens. I wonder if we'll ever see him again. You know, I wonder, like, um, him and Big E, I wonder if they're in that same spot of, like, man, you're great, but it might just never be again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By the same um, token, I think might be might actually be worth like the guy that you just hovered over now, Chuck Taylor. Chuck Taylor. Right. Into no opinion as well. Right. Yeah. We don't know if he'll ever be back. He seems like he might um, be done. Um, Trent Beretta, when he left, he might have been B level. I, I think C. Be. Yeah. I'd say C. I do yeah, see. Sure. Just because, um, like, I don't think I don't think he's I don't think he has the character for it as a single guy. I, I know. I know the argument is immediately going to be. That they're not on the same level if they were both healthy, but I think Omega belongs right underneath Adam Cole right now. Wouldn't be. Yeah. Um, it's it's, it's always difficult with like Omega because we just know how great Omega can be. My argument would be that Adam Cole, had he been healthy, would have probably been world champion and a big deal this year. 
Omega was teaming with Jericho. Like, and that's the I, thing I, with Omega is like, if Omega can become healthy again and wrestle at anywhere near the level that he was, he's instantly a man of enter. If not a goat. Right. So it's like, you judge that based off of where's the legacy factor come in compared to some other people. And I don't know, that's kind of tough. I don't know if I'd go into the no opinion territory with him right now. Or if I would just be I like, I, we, we can assume that he would be in a better spot, you know? He's at least an A. Who are we talking about for this one, sorry? Omega. Omega. Oh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say A still. I think it's just, it's just He's Omega. Still Omega, Omega is, like, yeah. yeah. Put him on with the Young Bucks. Mm. Uh, um, Jay White should be an A, but he's a B. Yeah, he's a B, unfortunately. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Jay White not been doing as great there. I, he's another guy that I'm like, you know, in the grand scheme, I kind of wish he would have went to WWE. I think he would have been used the same way. So I'm kind maybe of, I'm kind of happy that he's like he's in a place that he'll have probably better matches still. But but yeah, yeah, he should be pushed more. But it's just things have just gone wrong there. Uh, B tier for the acclaimed. I wouldn't want to put them there. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 mm, I'd put them in B tier. They They're still they that, super popular. Yeah. And well, it's, I'd say B tier for them, and then put Daddy Ass in C tier. Oh, I'd go uh, C. D. D. Oh come on, it's it's Daddy Ass. Like he barely wrestles now anyway. D's like generous. D for Daddy. Yeah. Okay. I can see it. Um, what about Big Bill? Um, uh, well, I, I really like Big Bill. B or C? I'd, I'd go B for Big Bill. B for Big Bill? Yeah, double, yeah, double B for Big Bill. Yeah. But I'd go C for Brian Keefe. Yeah. He's middle of the road guy at the moment. Um, yeah, Chris <laughs> disrespect. That's disrespect, putting him in C2. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to go no opinion on Bandito. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a while since we lost all Bandito. I do not remember much of Bandito. I Why? can't oh, tell on. you much of Jurlistico. And it's been a long time since we've seen him. Yeah, it's been a while for them as well. Maybe why is Atlantis well Junior on this list? Because he's why the Ring what? of Honor. He's the Ring of Honor Television Champion. Man, shut up! I should know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't seen enough of Atlantis Junior to All rank right. him. I'm I mean, probably anyone in my opinion as well. Yeah, but he's a champion. I think that at least puts him somewhere. Uh, yeah, puts him in no opinion too. <laughs> <laughs> well, cause he's, techni- he's technically not a member of the Ring of Honor roster. He's technically CMLL, but you know. But yeah, I mean, when you're a champion, you should probably be ranked somewhere. Well, at least in which know. case, in which in which case, put him middle because from yeah. what I've seen of him, he's fine and he's a champion, so it's fine. Cole Carter's an E. He's pretty bad. He's pretty bad. Yeah. I'll defer to you guys on the ROH guys. What about Dutch yeah. and Vincent? Man, yeah, bro. I'd say God that they. they it's one of those things like their career just went in a tailspin after that MJ match. I love, I love the gimmick. I can't say anything positive beyond that. Yeah, I mean they're teaming with Lance Archer most of the time in Ring of Honor now, so seems like that makes sense. Yeah, but then um, in terms of uh, other things, I mean Nick Comoroto is also an E. Who's the guy that he's working with now as well? Uh, Jacoby Watts. Jacoby Watts, yeah, who, he's not on this list. Who Tony doesn't have on this list, but that's who? okay because Bobby Cruz is on this list. Let's rank the <laughs> Ring of Honor <laughs> announcer. Yeah. Oh, that's another person that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. For anybody who didn't uh, check out that other <laughs> list, uh, there's some some uh, crossover with the SmackDown Hotel list versus my list, and especially when it comes to Ring of Honor names. Like, I, I don't know even who uh, Bobby Cruz is. Um. He's also the collision ring announcer, which is why Tony doesn't know. <laughs> yep. Don't pay attention to it. Uh, I have not seen his work, but I've heard great things about He's very EJ good. Duca. He's green. Yeah. He, but, but, he'll, he, but he'll 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 be somebody. Hopefully he makes green. So he's the no yeah. opinion for me, but what about you guys? Um, I haven't seen enough of him wrestle yet. He hasn't had enough matches, I think. Yeah, that's fair. 
Um, but he's the guy that he's currently teaming with is uh, Lee Johnson. And Lee Johnson's always been D for me. A perennial D. Lee Johnson, Lee Moriarty, Captain Sean Dean. Um, there's a yeah. couple other people that uh, Carly Bravo, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Anthony uh, Henry, yeah. uh, JD Drake. All these guys that were basically like, wow, you really fleshed out the card for AEW Dark to me none of them register like i'll, I'll really, go with whatever I'm you guys glad think you threw the workhorse in there i was getting really a l- little worried with where you're going with that pattern but <laughs> no it's not a the race thing whatsoever <laughs> yeah. I, I i would put um i put lee moriarty ahead of those ones <laughs> yeah, lee moriarty champion now. To see. yeah he is the pure champion so yeah but i mean as far as like my opinions for them like i never had an opinion about them other than they're just uh you know um you didn't have an opinion on asher hale Nope, <laughs> not even when he was Asher Hale. Um, yeah, so I, I, so I, 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 I Moriarty put C, Moriarty in C, and then the others in D. D. Yeah, and then I'd also put um, Shane Taylor in C as well. What about you, Rob? Yeah, I defer to you for Shane Taylor, even though I've seen more of Shane Taylor than some yeah. of the other guys. So, um. Silas Young's another one that we should probably just put into no opinion because I don't think I've seen him in a while. I have no opinion whatsoever. Yeah. Um, okay, let's look. B's the one that's the emptiest right now, so I want to just put a few people into there. Uh, starting with Carl Fletcher. He's definitely yep. on the B. Right and let now. me tell you something. He and Mark Davis are not on the same tier. Yeah, no. Nope. Mark Davis is definitely is on the D Maybe side now, the, I'd say. I would say D. D. Yeah. I would say Kyle O'Reilly's B. Yes. Yeah. And I, I actually... I was going to say this guy's B, but he's actually A, Mark Briscoe. Mark Briscoe. Yep. Mark yeah. Briscoe's leveled up to A tier for Mark sure. Mark Briscoe's charisma has leveled up to A, which is great. I had a, I had, I don't remember if it was the pay per view or if it was Collision or Dynamite, one of the two. Um, but I had that on, and uh, Mark Briscoe was cutting a promo, and Caroline was just like, what is he saying? <laughs> like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? And I'm like, it's I'm so not entirely good. sure, but it's fun. So It's so good. He's Where do we go with a rock hard Juice Robinson? B? C, yeah. No, B, definitely. Uh, all right. Uh, Come all on, right, it's, then it's I rock also hard. Put, I also put the other Bang Bang Boys in B. Also I'd go with the guns and potentially B, but th- maybe C. They're definitely no, not B. A's. No. If no. Juice is in B, they're in B. I, I, I could put them in B. I like the whole Bang Bang Gang. So, so what B was the bang name bang. that they've established now? Because it's Rock Hard Juice Robinson. What was Colton's name that they're going with? It's Rock Hard Robinson. Fully cocked Colton Gun. Fully cocked. Okay. Because I was like, I know Austin was saying he couldn't think of a name for himself. And I was like, Austin just can't get a name. It's just, you know, Switchblade J White, Rock Hard Juice Robinson. Fully cocked Colton Gun and Austin. Yeah. <laughs> if they hadn't done fully already, they could have had fully loaded, the, you know, the, uh, half cocked <laughs> and that kind of thing, but you can't repeat a word. So uh, we need to it figure out. Fun, a, it, could, it could be quite funny if it was half cocked and they're fully cocked. Right. Because <laughs> he's like half because he's like half the size of his brother. So. Like. <laughs> uh, or maybe like um, some kind of like. <laughs> no, you gotta get some kind of a gun term. So maybe like yeah, um, I'm thinking of like some gun, like uh, what, what's mini, another mini word revolver. for like premature, like a uh, um, fast shot or something? <laughs> like, shot load, yeah. <laughs> weak load, you know, whatever. <laughs> quick load, quick, quick load, quick draw, quick, draw. Quick, quick draw, quick draw. Uh, Austin, Austin Gun. Look at that. We're yeah. figuring out names for you guys. Yeah. Um. Uh, what are some other people we could throw? Let's. We got to start filling out that C tier because that eventually oh, yeah, is going to be the one that's in there. Oh, so okay. So we got um. Leo some Rush. Can go and see. Uh, Leo Rush. Yeah, I'd put in C. I think that I'd put like probably all of top flight in C. Yeah, I can see that. Um. What about Kill Switch? B. 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 I'd say for Kill Switch. Okay. Maybe Nick. Maybe Nick Wayne in C. Even yeah, I, I do like. I do. Wayne. I do no, quite Nick like Nick Wayne. Wayne but... I'd go uh, more for C for Nick Wayne. Yeah, if I we're putting Sammy Guevara, Dustin Rhodes, Jeff Jarrett in there, I'd go Nick Wayne C. Okay, here's a fun one. Let's talk about Wardlow. Fuck, man. Wardlow, what a... <laughs> another massive waste of possibilities. 
when you, well, I say like massive waste of possibilities. All he's gonna do is like, yeah, he'll leave, he'll go to WWE, he'll do the exact same thing that he did in AEW, and then WWE will have no idea what to do with him. So yeah. So I mean, I'd a couple say, years ago it was like, man, that guy's heading towards S tier. Yeah, it could be a real big MJF. thing, and then <laughs> nope. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Like, it'll, 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 well, let's say he'll come in as the let's let's imagine imagine this scenario that like he comes in around about the same time Ricky Starks has comes in. So he'll come in as Ricky Starks bodyguard, and then they'll do a storyline for like two year, two three years where they're teaming up together. Then he'll turn on Ricky Starks, turn babyface in the process, and then they'll realise that oh he doesn't actually have really the legs to stand on if he's not an enforcer gimmick. So you know they'll they'll, they'll, they'll probably make more use out of it. They'll probably get a world title reign out of him, but like they um. But yeah, it's not. I don't think Wardlow has demonstrated that he's sustainable outside of the, you know, henchman gimmick. I, I, I had the same idea, but I thought he might be the henchman for uh, Page, Ethan Page. Well, that could work as well. But either way. But um, but yeah, I, I think we're going to. I mean, uh, the highest I would go would be C. Yeah, maybe C then, because we know he can do stuff. So. Um, Wheeler, you as a B. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, Wheeler's B, yeah. I like that. I forgot about Wheeler. Um, I Curious put all what the storyline's going to be tonight with... Um, yeah, I'm, or not tomorrow. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited um, about... Nigel McGinnis is, is an S in some circles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a, he, he won um, top uh, color commentator in uh, the PWI rankings this week. He so. also got in a, a casino gauntlet. It was fantastic. Yeah. But I guess we kind of have to have no opinion for the time yeah. being. Yeah. Like, One match is certainly. hard to yeah. judge based off of but a I, 12 year difference or something. I'd say all of House of Black are in B. B for mm. Black? Yeah, I could see that. Mr. Black. I was going to make the argument that maybe, um, maybe head a little bit towards that C range. Or some, but I, I, I don't think so just yet. Maybe at some point, but not right now. Um, um since you just highlighted them, private party, yeah. Uh, C, I think. See, I'd say C. I think they're being they're being featured enough to be on the C level. For those who want more insight, like my thought process is constantly just what's their presentation because presentation does, as we established in the previous podcast with Marina, presentation helps. A lot. C tier for yeah, private party. I'll put them in C. Yeah, go C. Um, I never would have imagined when AEW started five years ago that we'd be ranking uh, Mason Mansoor. <laughs> but they, here they're we are. good. They're good at. They're C. really good. I'd say. I'd say C. I think they, they, they can. I would they agree. can get elevated. I'd, I'd say. Um, don't put Johnny TV in D right now because like he's just you know he's enhancement talent on AEW and then Big he just it does him. yeah but he's just like <laughs> let's you know put the, let's put it this way John Johnny TV John Morrison which I will always call him best moment in AEW was prior to when he signed when he appeared as part of the Owen and the account tag Johnny Gargano <laughs> <laughs> so you were thinking which uh, tier uh, D D tier for him. Um, okay, getting through a few more now. Uh, should we put um, Powerhouse Hobbs in, no opinion, for the time being? Because I don't think he's wrestled for the last year or so, has he? Or at least not for a, while, oh, a long time. Um, when did he get injured? Oh, oh, yeah, it was early this year because it was in the uh, match with Moxley when he, he was yeah, Japan champion. Yeah, I was say, part of the, the I, cows. I mean, in which case we could put him in C, maybe. I'd or B. C, yeah. He had potential to hit that B range, but he yeah. did get injured and that sidetracked him a lot. Mm-hmm. Cajun, give agony in D. Sorry. I put Cage in C, Cage in D. That's what I was going to say. Cage, C, Gates, and uh, D. Uh, to Do we just put Cutler in E, F, for no opinion? Uh, he, I think he still, he still wrestles every now and again, but I put him in E, probably Baron he's Cutler. E, he's, yeah. I go E, yeah. Um, I think E probably Fuego. Yeah, definitely. Um, Blake Christian. Does he still have a job as a company? Like, I mean, Blake, I, Blake Christian is like oh, he does wrestle a fair amount on Ring of Honor. I'm, I've never been a huge D. fan of him, but he's D probably. He's better than some of the other people in the E level. Oh. I'd go E. What about you, Rob? D. 
Wait, which one did you say? D. D? And dog. Okay, you have to make sure. So two Ds and an E that uh, you guys have with me on that one. Um, uh, Technically, he's not on the roster. I don't know why they had Toma Hirishi on here. I was just going to take him B. off. Well, what? Um, he was conglomerating. <laughs> would you constitute him a, to rank him on this? I mean, he I, was conglomerating all I think, summer long. I mean, he was he was he was basically loaned to them for a few months at the very least. But in, in which case, I'd put him as a as a B guy. Yeah, he's a B. He's a fun guy to have around. B for Big Tom of the conglomeration. Oh yeah, and, and put uh, Shibata in there as well for the two one. Yeah, oh, I forgot about Shibata. Um, and Hook and Hook as well. The honorary, oh, shit, the honorary Von Eric. Yeah. Mr. Hook, Hooks and B, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I still feel, I don't think he's elevating him stuff up to the A level yet. Tony, all caps, hook. You're you're you're, you're, <laughs> you're gonna kill me here. Like, I, uh, I I go based off of um the way that they had typed it out on the most recent thing, um, which that uh, pack had been all uh, caps. But um, where do we go, pack? Uh, oh, packs an A. I B or you know A like he's he's going to be in this big storyline now, and he just had the awesome match with he, Will Ospreay. He did um, also just try to kill Brandon Henderson as well. I he's, think he's I'd on, lean more towards B plus. Nah, he's higher than that. He's on the same level as I'd say he's on the same level as a as a Jack Perry or where, a, where we, if we put Claudio in A, then Pax in A. Yeah. Pex higher up than a lot of those, a lot of the guys in the video. Von Eriks? Where did we put Dustin? C. C. So, yeah, I'd say, I'd say, Von uh, C. lower than C. No. No, uh, they're, they're they're fine being in C. They're just a bit like they're still a bit. They're green. new, but they're C. I'm not as familiar with them yet, so yeah. Okay. Um. Let me just lump James Drake and Zach Gibson together because they're not going to be on different tiers. Um, Are we going to yeah, know this... opinion Paul White since we know opinion Daniels? Well, yeah, he doesn't do yeah. anything now, so... Makes He's sense. ROH GM. Mm-hmm. Um, you ever think you'd get to a fucking state where like, Big Show is the GM of Ring of Honor and that's what's going on right now? Ring of Honor, necessarily, no. But him being an authority figure, yeah. I, I figured he was going to end up going that direction at some point. Uh, actually, uh, should wait. we do no opinion for Matt Menard? He's mostly a commentator he, he, now, isn't he? He's still yeah, wrestling. but he, wrestles, he's wrestled enough recently. I would say D for Parker and Menard. When's the last time Parker wrestled? There, well, he's, you he's don't been, watch Ring of Honor. Yeah, that, he's been on Ring of Honor. He's been on Ring of Honor for that? Yeah, we've, we're teaming with Matt Menard, so yeah. Oh, okay. Um, did they... Uh, C's? But, uh, at the moment, I'd say they're D because they don't do a lot. But yeah, but I know how good they, they have. Day, C, so they, have they have B ability. Yeah, on the mic and stuff like they. Um, speaking of the, B's, Roddy's a B. Oh yeah, Roddy's definitely a B. I think Taven and Bennett are C's. C's. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd also put uh, let's get Anthony Go Go in D. He's fine. Most of the other guys, I'm ranking towards that D oh, well, range. Hold on, there's, there's a couple. There's a few that stand out. Yeah, Roosh is a C, I would say right now. I go C uh, for Roosh. Mm, he I has think, B I, potential, but he's just not. He has A potential, honestly. He doesn't rank up as high to me um, yeah. as I'd, like Roddy. I put Ortiz. I'd say nothing. I don't know the last time I seen Ortiz wrestle. He's been out of my uh, viewfinder long enough that I'd, I'd be fine, no opinioning him. Um, I'm same with no Peter Avalon Ibushi. as well. And no opinion for Ibushi as well, yeah. Yeah, Ibushi same as, well, yeah. Same as him. Put Peter Avalon in there as well, probably. I don't remember the last time I saw him wrestle either. I'd, I'd be willing to just put him in E. Um, but I mean, he, he's not really... I mean, I... I Arguably, he he's not actually employed? part of the roster. Yeah, like he's him and Fuego, like, are they even employed? Well, if you put Fuego in E, then, then well, I guess Avalon's. Well, Fuego did wrestle. Fuego did wrestle like pretty you recently, know, quite, right? quite yeah, well, quite a lot in the uh, residency in Ring of Honor. So because that was in Texas, so he was that based there. So he was doing it. So. Yeah. Um. Let's see. 
I think, looking at some of these other ones, uh, let's put Grace of Jungle that's in C, probably. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. That's And that's their floor. Like, honestly, they have... I mean, they'll go up, probably, or hopefully, but... Hopefully, um, they'll at least be B. Yeah. I'm putting uh, Billington in at least D. He's, good, I, he's a good hand. He's he so needs, much he, fun. He needs more reps, obviously, because he's still learning, but he'll he'll get higher up, but yeah, maybe D but, for the time being. Give him pure title in Ring of Honor, and let's see him just have a few matches. Yeah. I've only seen one of his match uh, matches, so to me, I, he would be a no opinion. But if you are two votes for D, then yeah, for the time being, he'll go up. But uh, Scorpio Sky is in no opinion. Yeah, I kind of feel like that. When's the last time he was on TV? I mean, I'm ready to. I, I mean, I'd be, I I think he's one of the people that I would be dancing between E and F with at this point. I like, couldn't go F. Um, but- can't go F. I'd, I'd go I more could, no opinion because I'd go I'd go D or E, but no, we'll, we'll go no opinion because he doesn't do he hasn't done much for a long time. So, um, uh, premier athletes are either D, all three. D, well, D, I'd say for the premier athletes, they're very good enhancement talent. Yeah, yeah, D. With Josh but, Woods having the ability to go higher, so it's uh, wait, Woods, Woods, so Davari, and Nice. You were saying D though? Yeah, yeah D, yeah, D. Then Davari and then Nice right here. Okay. Dalton uh, Castle's a D, maybe an E. I go E. Uh D, I'd say for Dalton Castle. He's, he's yeah, still, he, he still gets he's still over, over enough. Right. Yeah, he's more over enough to do it, so. Um, I haven't seen anything of Garrison for a long ass time because he's really only been in ROH. Cole Cole, he's, he's higher than Cole Carter because he's better than Cole Carter, so I'd say he's D. Better than Cole Carter. Um I'd say so we have for anybody that's on the audio only stream yet uh we Ooh, are down to works. jay lethal kip sabian commander matt side al pressed advance Rhett titus ricochet and willie mack is, he, is willie mack still employed i don't think he's, he's he's on a like per appearance contract type thing so i don't think i'm he's gonna ever say been. willie mack and red titus and d i'd put uh, titus and e okay willie mack and d red titus and e i can find that um, no, uh, no, Willie Mac and E start to balance that out a little bit with the B tier. No, I think he's better. Nah. Than that, so we've already got way more in the D tier than we've got in the B tier anyway. So that's the yeah. But we might need to move some of those people potentially. Yeah. I mean, we don't have uh, to, but you know what I mean. What I'd say, Kip Sabian's Matt, an E, unfortunately. Oh, he's higher than that. I think he's a D. Okay. Again, I've seen enough of him recently. I don't think he's as bad as a lot of the people in the E tier. I'd say uh, but he Commander's... is regularly seen on that tier with the butcher and the blade. J Lee yeah, full C. Mm. No, I'd say D. D. I'd say Commander C. Yeah. I'd say Sidel D or E. Well, Sidel's too good to be an E. D. D. Yeah, again. Yeah. So we got press advance and ricochet. Well, ricochet. Ricochet's... Well. I think Ricochet we just admit, got there. Yeah, but I think Ricochet is a kind of. I know it's like it should be a no opinion because I haven't seen him do anything, but like. He's above average. He's a B already. He's, we know yeah, what we can, he, he can do. He's an instant B that can potentially move up to an A when they actually yeah. start taking him seriously. But even though he's going to be feuding with Will Ospreay and he was seen as like somewhat on par with Pac, he just hasn't had that time yet. So it's like, all right, well, we know for a fact if they book Ricochet versus Big Bill that it's not going to seem like it's like, oh, there's no chance. Or Ricochet against Jay White. He could beat Jay White. You know what I mean? So at least Preston Vance is the last one on this, outside of adjusting any of the scales. Well, I, I think we can put him in any probably. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a long enough time, so I'll go with what you guys are going with. Yeah. So we do have too many people in D if we would want to switch them around to maybe balance that out with some E's. More than anything. Um, Maybe like two people or something. Maybe even bump up somebody from C tier to B tier if we wanted to bump up anybody. So if there's anybody from like, I mean, I'd say if we're just maybe trying to balance some bits out a little bit, because C should be the biggest one, even though it is, we can make it slightly, we could probably make it one bigger. If there's one person from D tier that I'd probably be fine moving in C tier, but J Lethal probably. I'd be down for yeah. J Lethal B and C. Yeah. And then 
if we look to move maybe one or two down from D tier into E tier, let's see, the ones that immediately come to mind would be a go go. Yeah, that's kind of range. Not, not to lose, but. Um, um, I'd also consider either Willie Mac or that L. I think Willie Mac's like a better wrestler, so I'd I try and keep him up there. Someone they, I think he, Willie Mac is someone you put out there to like. Yeah, you're gonna lose, but you, you we want you to have a good match with this guy. So that's why I kind of that's the kind of distinction that I have between okay. the D tier and E tier stuff. Do we put Floyd and Magnum? E? No, no, because they're, no, they're they're popular. They're, they're, they're over. That's the, that's their saving grace in the same way. If anything, the... I'd if you wanted to add one to E, I'd probably, you know. Move Dan House, it for the fact that Tony was so passionately like, <laughs> "Fuck this." No, he, no, he's he's definitely an F. Yeah. Um, what about like? Uh, uh, oh, Blake. I, I'd say Blake, Blake Christian. Christian. Yeah, just because he's he's a good hand, but like he's not never going to be featured at a high level in Ring of Honor or AEW. Definitely. Technically, if we move, what's it like two, three, four? If we move like two more people from D to E, we're pretty much as balanced as we can get. If we can think of that, from like D to E. What about like a like well, a Carly I mean, Bravo no, I mean, or? I mean, technically, we're not that super balanced, are we? Because like A, I mean, the S and the F are, you know, because B should be comparable to D, shouldn't it? So yeah, I mean, that's where there's like there's four more on D than there is in B. Yeah, so it could be a case. So we of... could move a C over to B. Honestly, you said four more in D than there is in B. If we're trying to get like pretty close to that, I mean E okay. and A are not like look at the difference between E and A. That's another four. Yeah. Um. So it's like I mean, we don't have to, you know, if we're comfortable I mean, I mean, with this. But, yeah. But, like, well, I say though, like, I don't think there's many more that we would necessarily want to move around too much. Like, because I'd say I'm fine with the way that the list is. I think that some people. We're, we might be a little bit harsh on that we could bump up like a powerhouse Hobbs could be a B, but he's been MIA for so long that like not going to a point. It's not like we're putting him in E or like we're not putting Beast Mortos in D or, you know what I mean? Like um, most people we have within the range of where they would at most, if they would go higher or lower, it would just be one. I can't really see an argument to be like, um, like I would move, uh, woods maybe to C, but like that wouldn't change too much. Yeah. I, I mean, I think he's on the similar, he, he's definitely, you know, I, I kind of put, he's definitely the best out of the premier athletes, but they're all kind of at the level of like, you're just kind of major enhancement talent for people. Like it's just, you know, you beat jobbers every week, but then you'll go up against a, Buy in the C tier or the B tier, and you'll just lose because that's your slot. But that's, I say, like, that's fine. I, as, I, I think that that's fine. I think there's definitely like more people that are in the kind of enhancement talent range for AEW, and I think when we come around to doing WWE one as well, we'll be in a similar pattern. Just because there are just a lot of people that are just like flowing in the ether and all these promotions because there's just not enough room to push everyone. Mm-hmm. I wish there wasn't. Like, you know, well, no, I, I, I kind of both the well. Both WWE's and AEW rosters were kind of like, well, in WWE's case, probably cut in half, and in AEW's case, probably cut into two thirds, and then the rest of them would be in another like third promotion that would. Right, like it sounds mean. Like I don't mean to say like I want. No, I, no, I, I want the I want the balls get paid. I want the balls get paid for what they're doing, but I'd rather like they're not going to get anywhere featured on in a, in a limit in the limited span that you get on both AEW and WWE TV because let me put it this way they like AEW at the moment have what uh five hours of TV a week and then you add Ring of Honor on top of that but that's obviously a streaming thing that's like a six hour yeah it's crazy how much and even and even WWE they only have like seven hours and like that feels like a lot obviously it is like when you just think about it but they can't even feature everyone on their rosters in those seven mm. hours. So it's, so yeah, it's just, we Not need a less than that for the rest of the year. We, with yeah, we, we, need, yeah. we, we need to wait till that. Yeah. We need to wait till Freddie Prince steps up and like, take, go, takes it, takes a few of these guys 
that are sitting in the C, D, E tiers, maybe even a couple from B, just say, yeah, I'm going to push you guys. And then we'll have a, another tier list when we when they have, like, uh, FPW, Freddie Prince Wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> Freddie Prince Wrestling with your your FPW champion, and it's um, Tony Sarah Nese Michelle Geller. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Michelle Gellar. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we're pretty solid on this list the way that it is. So, um, yeah, okay, it's interesting is- to see, of course, like how certain people do move up and certain people do move down. I mean, compared to previous years where certain people were like, uh, were quite a bit higher on somebody like a Wardlow, and then shit happens. I remember when Cassidy was like an S and like a definitive, like, first year we did this, he was like a definitive S. Cassidy was uh, what was he last year? Might have even had him there. A. So I always try to make the argument for him as an S. So I think that we probably. I yeah. mean, we had Adam so, Page and Darby Allen and Christian and like all those. Like so, we were a little bit more uh, stringent for the S tier last year, but we threw the Jacksons and Kenny Omega on there. So um, yeah, but I think that we kind of we swapped a little bit yeah, on that front. Like, yeah, because we dropped the elite essentially from the S tier, and so it's like oh, wow, we Ken Moxley, MJF, and Brian Danielson from the S tier just moved a lot of people into it. So we know opinion uh, Dan Housen last year, this year totally was just like fuck that guy. Oh yeah, I, I mean I'm totally happy to fuck that guy. Like he can go, he can launch himself into the sun for a while. You have a stronger opinion about him than I do, even now. <laughs> that's um, fine. I mean, I, I think he'd rather launch himself up CM Punk's rectum, but that's that's never here nor there. <laughs> yeah so we do still have the men's roster for wwe and the women's roster for wwe we will be doing that for next week's podcast but go back and check out the women's roster for AEW if you're not already check that out and keep in mind that we always want to know what you guys have to say so drop your thoughts in the comment section below tell us what you agreed with what you disagree with if we missed anybody as well I don't think we would have missed anybody, but That's hey, it happens. Um, yeah, keep in mind, though, if you want us to do more tier list kind of content or other types of content, the Pick Your Poison tier is always the best way to do that. But also leave a comment below if you're like, man, really love these tier lists. I wish you didn't do them only once a year for the rosters. I don't know why we would really place another roster tier list because it is kind of hard to just like how often are you going to rank the same people hey, Liz, over and over? If you want us to do tier list Thursdays, we could do that. You know how you do that? You give us money on the Patreon. That is true. It's marketplace stuff, Patreon or the YouTube channel membership. The best way to uh, get the wheels moving is to grease them. So <laughs> keep that in mind. You also share your support, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. And make sure that you are checking out everything that you can find on fanboysanonymous.com as well as smartoutmoment.com. And go to the link tree at amangotree.com to see links for those two different things and all the other kinds of random content that I've got out there on social media accounts. Anthonymango.com, exactly the same thing as that. And also check out Robin Callum. Yep, check me out everywhere at Dude Felice. Check out Fightful.com and all the great wrestling news we got on that website. And also check out what Callum has going on. You can find me on Twitter at Wigmeister14. Check out the Power Rankings every Saturday on SmartMoment.com where I rank the WWE Superstars based on their previous week's performances. And while you're there, head on over to the Fantasy League, also at WWEFantasyLeague.com. See how our rosters are doing in terms of picking up points as we head Academy towards changes right now. Yeah, as we head towards some bad, head, head towards some bad blood. Okie dokie, everybody. Tier lists for AEW are down. WWE coming up next week. We will see you then. In the meantime, though, we do have another episode of the Hot Tags coming up, so stay tuned for that. And maybe another dark cast. I don't know. It kind of depends on our scheduling and everything but stay tuned in one fashion or another you'll be seeing us next time so adios for now this has been another smart out moment and we are being counted out